What's going on, you guys? We are back again for another episode of Love After Lockup, Love During Lockup, Season 4 of the... Uh, girl, I don't know. It's a Season 4, Episode 43. Now, baby, I don't know exactly what episode or what se whatever. Okay, the title is The Million Dollar Fantasy. Now, let's just get into this because I got a couple of things to say. Baby, we're not... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> At this point, we should just be used to it by now about how silly and how dumb these women and men are being. And at this point, I feel like I would say everybody with kids are dumb on this show, right? But Andy has really became one of the dumbest males on this show. And I'm saying that because... His whole situation is just crazy. We'll get there. Let's just go. Um, the episode picks up where I left off last week, okay? We got Letitia and um, Keith, okay? Letitia didn't already told her peoples or whatever at the tax place that they work at. You know, um, this is my business. I'm your boss. But um, you're about to have two bosses. And one of those bosses is going to be my husband. He's going to be running things behind jail. And I said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Pack my stuff up and let's go. Because I don't trust this situation. And, you know, they wind up going out to uh, get a little, uh, you know, like a happy hour type of thing and all that stuff. And one of the co-workers was like, so you told the other, about the other co-worker. Mm, it looked like I had a little bit too much, um. My lips was a little bit too moisturized. Anyway, she was like, girl, did you tell her that, um, Deanna, did you tell her that, you know, you was messing around with, uh, Keith before? I said, now, little Miss Mary Poppins, okay, with your little, um, Sister Mary Clarence Jess on. I said, now, why you up here getting the stuff started? Thank you. But, uh, I said, uh-uh, we ain't gonna be messy like this. She said, yes, we are. I said, all right, all right. And so they was like, I mean, she already know that we talk. And she was like, wait a minute. So what you mean y'all talk? Y'all talk that you had sex with my man or whatever? Like, what's going on? And she was like, I mean, I mean, like, we talked. I was like 15, 16 years old. We was around that age. And, you know, it wasn't nothing. We ain't ever sleep together, nothing like that. We just talked. We probably kissed or whatever, but it ain't go no further than that. And, of course... Letitia is finna get in her feelings about this. And again, y'all in y'all 30s, okay? Y'all are well in your 30s. And at this point, I feel like Letitia probably older than them. But this was in his past. And I understand the fact that you're working with someone who actually had some type of communication or interaction with your man prior to you. And you didn't have the full knowledge. You had some knowledge, but not the full knowledge. Now, you feel a type of way, but if that person is not giving you any type of inclination that they're doing anything, I don't feel like you should really be that mad in your feelings. And I'm glad that she didn't show her butt right there. You know what I'm saying? Because that would have made her look some type of way, you know? And I don't want that insecurity stuff to come through because you are already... And this goes to show you don't know this person. You get married to somebody while they're still in prison, okay? You get married to somebody that ain't been outside on the outside world, world in years. You don't know how they operate. You don't know if they're telling you everything. And now you're just now finding out that one of your co-workers used to have dealings with your now husband. You should feel dumb about yourself because you didn't inquire about all of this stuff, you know? Um... Girl, they was asking no girl, why would you say all of that? <laughs> Mama said, well, she needed to know. So I'm like, <laughs> I said, oh, my goodness. She said, uh-uh, let me call his auntie because, you know, his auntie is like one year older than me. So we like, you know, really good girlfriends right about now. And, you know, she tell me everything. And so she get on the phone and auntie didn't lie. Yeah, he used to have dealing with Deanna. No, I don't think they went together. No, they weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, she was like, that they had sex. She was like, they probably did. And Deanna was like, no, we did not. And she was like, listen, they probably did. And she said, how are you going to tell me? She said, because I know my nephew. 
I know my nephews and I know how they get down. They do any and everything. You ain't finna just come around and just be kicking in and be a homegirl. Nine out of ten, they banging and getting some ass. I said, wow. I said, Deanna, you 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 did you did something. You did something. I really do feel like it, okay? But at the same time, it was in the past. It was in the past. I wouldn't get so mad about it if I was Letitia. Unless you feel like they still having conversations going on and you probably think that he's holding some other stuff. See, this is things that you got to deal with. It's one thing you got to deal with stuff like this on the outside world. Now you finna deal with this for somebody that's in prison and you really don't know exactly what's going on. Because at this moment in time, even though he didn't marry Joe, but he probably still talking to somebody else. That's just how they do. And that's what people can't get through their head. And I'm like, girl, she said, mm. Let me email my man, baby, when she said that. I don't know why it took me out, but it took me completely to the ground. I said, let you email your man. I said, because who says that? It is 2023, and I'm sitting here like, no, baby, let me text my man. Let me fax my uh, FaceTime my man. Let me call my man. And I said, oh, girl, this is because he in prison. <laughs> And we already saw on one season of Love After Lockup where they said when they be sending the emails and all that stuff, they got to wait hours for some of them emails to come back for them to get the email and hours for them to return it. Like, baby, I ain't got time for that, okay? I do not have time to be talking to somebody through email where I'm sending an email saying, hey, how you doing? And I got to wait three hours for you to reply back or I, or I can receive the reply that says, I'm doing good. What's up with you? Girl, I ain't got time for that. Half the day is already gone. And we only said two sentences to each other. That's it. Okay? I, I, I don't need that. I need communication that's consistent. And that's... Because I don't like that. Okay? What are you doing over there? What are you doing over there that you can't get back to me within 15 minutes? Uh-uh. I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm-mm. That's what... Let y'all know. Whoever give me, that's just what's going to happen. I like that. Um, You know, if I text you, text me back. I hit you up, hit me up back. I mean, I ain't that type of one that's just going to keep on doing all that stuff or whatever because I like my time to myself too. But be respectful and act like you want this, okay? And you want to talk to... Girl, I look cute. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, baby. Earrings would do it for you. It, and my skin kind of breaking out a little bit, and I don't know why. Um, Monthly is already over. I've been eating good okay drinking maybe because i'm drinking a lot more water than i have been i don't know maybe because i got to get all them impurities out of my skin or whatever that probably got trapped in my skin when i was at the concert last week or whatever because that's when it started it just started like this week though and and maybe because i had that shirt on y'all i had that shirt on i can tell i don't know if i told y'all i had that shirt on and it, it i can't wear it no more because whatever fabric it was it was it messed up my skin a little bit. I mean, it didn't mess it. It irritated. That's what it was. It irritated my skin, all that glitter and stuff. Baby, I got sensitive stuff. But anyway, I was just like, girl, <clears throat> ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> she said, let me email my man. And then she sent the email. So you did something with, you used to talk to Deanna and then going to send another one back. Like, you ain't even give him two minutes to respond knowing damn well it's going to take five hours for him to get that and send it back. I said, girl, you better slow down, okay? You better slow down. And for her workers, the other two to be out there kikiing about it, baby, I said, y'all, we here. We here because that's exactly what I would have been doing. We would have been outside laughing about the whole situation because, baby, it's dumb, okay? It's no other way. You're being stupid. You're being just, you're being led astray, all right? And so then she gets home. You saw how the little girl was like, her daughter said something was going on with her phone because she used her phone. And she was like, no, because I'm finna call your bone. I'm waiting on the call from your bonus daddy. Girl, I hate when y'all say that. I really do not like when y'all say that in certain situations, okay? Um, Because I just feel like, where is the actual parent? And it's only cool if they are all together and they're all okay and they're all in a good situation for you to say that. I don't know. Sometimes it just rubs me raw, and especially in this type of situation. I don't know. Like, I feel like you introducing the kids too soon. I ain't finna introduce my kids to somebody that's behind bars, and I don't know how they act around whoever it is. That they, girl, please. 
girl, please. And then had them call them daddy and mama and bonus dad. Bon Get out of here. Stop that, you guys. Stop it. Meanwhile, she get on the phone. She was like, it was almost 3 o'clock. It had turned 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. She was like, now, no, it was 3.56 or 3.57, 3.59. One of those times, okay? And she was like, you know, he's supposed to be calling, and I don't know what he's doing. I mean, what is going on? Like, he know he's supposed to be calling. He better call. And then eventually he do call, right? And she was like, hey, babe. I was just like, I know you better call on this phone. <laughs> What are you doing? Like, what was going on? He was like, yo, I mean, I had some stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? I was busy. I said, busy doing what? <laughs> busy doing... I'm sorry. <laughs> busy doing what? <clears throat> Shouldn't you be getting ready to go to bed right now? Because don't y'all go to bed early? Because y'all wake up at like the crack of dawn? I don't know how prison work. I just go about what I see on TV. But I said, busy doing what? <laughs> he was like... You know, I had to get stuff together for the next day. You know, getting food together, preparing the food and all that stuff. I said, preparing the food. Now, see, if I ain't know no better, and if I wasn't on prison TikTok like I be sometimes, I don't know how it popped up on my thing, but it still be popping up on my thing. Baby, they be in there. Girl, girl. So, he probably went line when he said he probably was preparing the food for, for the next day. Because, listen, they do meal preps like we do. I said, excuse me. How y'all in here eating good like this with the little mess that y'all got? Baby, when you be locked up and you don't know what else to do, you will come up with something, I guess. The niggas become geniuses, okay? They become like real chefs and stuff up in prison, and y'all couldn't apply all this knowledge that y'all learning and all this mess that you, innovation that you learning and, and, and skills that you getting up in jail. You couldn't do that outside on the street legally. I said, oh my goodness. Girl, they be making like five course meals up in there, and they be doing it. I be like, but now wait a minute. That look very unsanitary, but it look good as ever. My stomach probably won't be able to do nothing with it, but I'll get a little taste, you know? And she was like, oh, okay, you know, so that's cute or whatever. You know, I can't wait till you get home. But, you know, I was at work, and I was talking to Deanna. So, like, did you have something to do with Deanna? Like, y'all was up there kicking it and all that stuff that you uh used to go with Deanna. And he was like, did I what? Did you used to go with Deanna? Click. I said, now, hold up. <laughs> I said no he didn't I said listen I'm just going to say That the time had ran out <laughs> And he had a call back again Okay because that phone said Click right at the time When we needed to know a yes or no answer Okay that's all we needed And before we could get it it said click I said sir now I know you didn't hang up that phone Even though the phone's been clicking on and off This whole episode I said oh Letitia Letitia finna go outside her body I said child this is what you get Ain't nobody got time for that alright oh, That's too much stress And you wanna know who else is stressing me out For no reason and she's stressing herself out No she ain't even stressing herself out She's stressing her family out Jade okay Jade and um Chris I'm gonna need Jay to wake up and I'm gonna need Jay to just smell the coffee or whatever it is, Starbucks that she be drinking or whatever. I'm gonna need her to smell that and I'm gonna need her to let that man go. I understand that money probably is a factor like her sister Jessica said because he been paying for a lot of stuff. And when I say a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I said, oh my God, he is really putting out. Like he is definition of... If he want to, he will, bitch. He'll make a way. Listen, he said, listen, just because I'm behind bars don't mean that you got to be living like you behind bars. My girl going to have this, 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 and we ain't doing that cheap stuff. I said, you know what? I probably, no, I would. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me get a sugar mama that'd be like, all you got to do is this, this, this. <laughs> Ashley would do the same thing. <laughs> I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Don't let her be cute too. I'm like, oh, what you want me to do? <laughs> you want me to come in at what? I mean, you are providing, so you know, baby. But let me stop. Let me stop, cause I ain't no just like that. Okay, like, I got morals. I got standards. I'm. Mean, you ain't gonna control me, and I just don't understand. How is Jay letting this man control her behind prison? You are clink clink in the bars. Okay, just lay back chilling. And I'm sitting here like, <clears throat> so do they not get a certain amount of time where they can call 
or whatever um and use the phones or do he have a a, a, a illegal phone in his bunkie like i'm confused because for the amount of times that he was calling back to back every day every day every day like what's going on it's just it's just too much like imagine if he's doing all of that there and he's locked up and he ain't got no freedom he ain't got nowhere to roam and he ain't got nothing else to do imagine when he get out into the free world Either he gonna be out here running buck wild and still wanting to control Jade, or he just gonna still be doing the same thing and then it's gonna be elevated by 10. I just don't know. Mama, I need you to get about this situation. Jessica was talking to her daddy about it, like, you know what, I'm gonna have to talk to her about this because this ain't gonna fly. I just really don't like the way that, you know, um, he just came through and he always ruining stuff. He's always ruining stuff. I'm trying to have my birthday party and you calling here doing this stuff or whatever. Getting that jade and all this stuff, trying to control her. I said, yes, mama, tell her, tell her. You got to tell her, put your foot down, right? You know, so you get that. And um, after she get through talking to the daddy, the daddy said, be nice. I said, uh-uh, Jessica, tell Jay how you feel, okay? Put it down. Mind you, they in the midst of talking about all of this. Like, you need to you need to get this together because I really don't like what's going on. This fool calls her later on, okay? They're on their way to go, like, I don't know, ATVN or something like that, boondoggie. I don't know what it is. Mm, stuff that they be playing out there in the woods and stuff. You know, all that activity where they be just doing all that crazy stuff. Trying to, uh, they be putting their life at risk for what? For the rush. I don't understand that. It will never be me because I, I value my life. And I think it's precious. You know what I'm saying? I'm too paranoid that I might mess up something. And I don't have time for that. Okay. But they was up there talking in the car on the way to the thing. And she, it, it just was like... You putting up with all of this, okay? Maybe, is it really the money or whatever? Like, how much has he spent on you? Because it feels like he's trying to buy your love and to keep you by paying you, by buying you things or whatever to keep you in the place that you at with him. And she was like, I mean, she said, something, something costs like $570,000. What are you talking about? And then she said, hold on. The sis said, now hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's add up everything. You got this car that's like 60000 You got the camper that's between fifty, sixty thousand. 60000 You got this buggy that's 34000 You got this, this, this. He done spent probably close to a million dollars. And that's what Jay said. Jay said he done probably uh, spent a million dollars or so on me. And I said, whoa. You know what? I mean... Is it worth it? Flip it and reverse it. Like, I mean, he's fitted. But, baby, we ain't got to be that shallow, okay? I know we don't want to have to work. And she don't work because she said she's a social media influencer. Did y'all see that little blurb when she was up there trying to um do her little social media stuff right? And then she was like, seven of my followers, they hate on me. And the other ones be asking me where I get stuff. I said, mm. Girl, I ain't never heard about you a day in my life. But then again, I don't venture over to certain parts of the thing. Because sometimes, girl, I was looking at, um, and I hope she don't watch this because, you know, 9 out of 10, she don't. But, you know, if you're on TikTok, listen, you're on TikTok. And if you have somebody number in your phone and if they're on TikTok, and even if, if you're not following them, they will come up on your For You page at one point in time. Okay, and I figured this out, and somebody had to tell me that as well, because I was like, uh, why is a couple of people that I f go to work with is on TikTok, and I saw a couple of their things, like, come up on my For You page, why do they not, uh-uh, I gotta, I gotta block them or whatever. My boss was one of them, okay, my branch manager. And I was like, oh, uh, you know, before I said I was going to block her, even though I blocked her and then I unblocked her. Because I was like, girl, I got nothing to hide. You want to see me act crazy? Go ahead and do it, bitch. It is what it is. You know, we being real up in here. I ain't got nothing to hide. I don't put nothing crazy on there. And even if I did, who cares? You can't fire me. Um, <clears throat> I was looking at her stuff. So, you know, me being a nosy person that I am, I was like, oh, well, sis is dead. Let me go through your account. Boop. Mm. Oh. Oh, this is your definition of fun. This is cute. It's like I just got transported into another side in another universe. Like, 
this your idea of fun like some of it was and then it's like the way that it's like you literally see what different people think of as fun and relaxing and i was like oh i said it's so caucasian and it was peaceful though like i would literally probably live my life out there whatever she was doing baby i was sitting here like it is so peaceful like it's calm like you could tell they was really having fun but it was also like not like black people my black people fun and when i say black people i'm talking about my family my friend not like i have fun because we be rumbuscious okay they just kind of cool collected just sitting out there you know chilling on the lake and all this stuff and it just looked like the picture of a postcard i said wow i could live out there when i in my in my retirement years i could live out there it's just really peaceful i said this is all y'all do when you go on vacation oh okay y'all listen to the music is I'm gonna need a little bit of a judge, okay? You know, I just had to bring that up because I was looking at these girls. So I said, mm, all right, all right. So I'm just looking at them and I'm just like, girl, that man, as soon as they got through doing the ATVN or whatever they was doing in the little buggy, baby, she got a little, uh, 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 what is it, a jumper or whatever that got his face on it. I said, I don't love you that much. <laughs> I don't love you that much to put my name on you or uh, for you to put my name for me to put my your name or me or uh, me to wear your face on my clothes okay we don't i mean what more reassurance i don't think that's it's cute around the house it ain't cute to go outside maybe it's just me maybe it's just me but i ain't gonna do that but um they get out the car or whatever and dude and call 15 times i said what Y'all remember that clip on Jerry Springer when that girl was like, what? What? That's how I was. That's how I was. What? 15 times? What? Are you serious? I said, what? Are you, you really bored. You are really bored. And I love the fact that Jess picked up that phone and she was like, listen, bruh. What's going on? Like, we out here trying to live life. We out here trying to do stuff. And you just keep on calling and interrupting. Because he was like, I'm just trying to see, like, you what you doing. Jay was like, we out here having fun, you know, just um kicking in and all that stuff. I'm with my sister and all that. And he was like, I mean, that's cool or whatever. But you mean to tell me that you can't answer the phone not one time? Like, it really don't take... I said, are you serious? Jess was like... Baby, what's going on? Why do you keep on doing this? He was like, you got to understand where it's coming from on my side. You know what I'm saying? I want to be there. I want to know what's going on. I want to understand what's happening too. He just was like, you're in. He said, I want to be a part of it too. She said, you're in jail. You're in jail. Okay, can you let her have fun and then call you and then tell you what's up afterwards when she didn't live her day? Baby, this is what happened. This is your fault that you was in jail having FOMO. Okay, you are having FOMO. Ain't nobody tell you to go burglarize something where you already can get money. Ain't nobody tell you to be a meth head the way that you are. Nobody told you to do that. Nobody told you to do that. And now you didn't got this lady. You 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 up here controlling her like a girl. I wish I I said Jay, wake up. Wake up and get that man back his money so he won't have to throw that in your face and be like, I spent a lot of money on you, diamond. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, I, I, and then she go ask her sister if you want to, I, I want you to come down there to, uh, is it North Dakota? North Dakota, go see him. Jessica was like, you know what, at first I ain't want to because, uh, but I'm going to have to. And then I'm going to give him a piece of my mind, like a fitness, read him his rights. I said, all right, Jessica. I like Jessica. I really do. Moving on from there, um, <clears throat> who else? Renika and a, 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 a Shantae. Let me tell you something, Miss Mer uh, Renika. Nick, Nick. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. Y'all remember that? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what it's been thinking about this whole time. Um, Miss Renika, I'm going to need you to get your life together, okay? You are out here just... I don't know. She get together with her sister and her kids and their family. And they're about to get ready to have a little uh, go away party for her. Her sister stood. I said, all right, come on. We got LGBT all of it. <laughs> oh, because, you know, we've been having a rough few days. We've been having a rough week, okay? 
everybody been having a rough week and i'm just had you know i just want us to get back to the happy i want us to stop debating shit i just want us to be funny okay and laugh <laughs> all i want y'all to do okay i just <sighs> this it we got to stop being so serious all the time but miss stud she was sitting there and they was like you know what i don't really I, I everybody up here might be cool with you you know going out here to georgia to be kicking it with this dude or whatever mind you she said that he gets down in a week i said what all right all right she said everybody else may be cool about it and i'll be here for you and i'll be on your side but right here right now i don't approve this okay i i really don't approve this because you know you literally going out there to be with somebody that you don't know like that you ain't seen on the outside like that she was like we can't even kick it you uprooting my nieces away from me and all that you know i be there we can't even have sister uh weekend and i said oh when she was saying stuff like that i was like i feel you i feel you you know what i'm saying i understand being in the same position a little bit when your sister run, you know move away and all that stuff you can't kick it like you want to but fish ever since my sister's been gone we've been kicking it a lot more than we did when we was living together but um you know i said you can make do but she mainly was like you don't know this person you don't know this person and baby you have teenage daughters and i'm looking at the teenage daughters and i'm like them some pretty girls them are some pretty girls and niggas are out here and they are disgusting they are predators okay and i just don't trust the situation i really don't all right i just don't i'm with the sister she said i don't trust this you're literally uprooting your life for a man that you really don't know and you don't even know if he out here messing around with other women and i said there it is too okay and like the sister said we need to break this cycle all right you got us who come from a father who was in jail now you're going with somebody who is also in jail we don't want our offsprings to be out here with somebody in jail like that we need to break that cycle and i said thank you thank you i know everybody need love but lord you know sometimes we just gotta say take a step back and we gotta assess the situation fully okay we gotta use our mind instead of our heart you know what i'm saying because the heart will leave you astray all the time all right i'm just saying um so later she get ready ain't no convincing her otherwise or whatever you know these women and these people these men they already got their lot uh they got everything planned out and they minds made up she fit to have a little call date with uh asante right she got on her red language and negligee and i said oh 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 i mean I mean, it ain't do nothing for me. It ain't do nothing for me. Um, cause y'all know I like them thick. You know what I'm saying? I like them a little thick. You know, I gotta have something I can look, grab on. She ain't, she ain't, she just ain't my type of thick. You know what I'm saying? Um, Asante like it, so that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? And she was feeling herself and she was like, my baby is about to call, you know, and he got a, yes, he got an iPhone in prison. Now, I don't know how he got that iPhone in there. And sometimes he be making me so nervous when we be FaceTiming because I be like, oh my God, is a girl going to come? Is a girl going to come to get me do what I do? Because she showed no was on that thing, tooting and booting in and the, the dress, uh, the little thing was riding up and she was showing booty cheeks and everything. And I said, now did y'all notice that he had his hand on his piece as soon as she, uh, I said, hold on, it's, it's cameras back here. You don't want to show all of that. Okay, I know y'all about to have a session. You know what I'm saying? It's understandable. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. We get it. We get it. Okay, but hold off for a minute. Hold off for a minute. And so, you know, they doing all of that. She talking. Uh, I can't wait to see you. What you want when you come out? He was like, I want the four S's. I want some steak, some sex some shrimp and salad and she was like mm -mm, you mean you know sex then shrimp then sex then salad then sex then steak then sex 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 i said oh y'all so horny okay it's understandable mm -hmm. you've been in there for a long time but what we need to get to is they talking about all of what they gonna do and how the people don't approve and you know my family not really here for it, my people not really here for it because they think that you probably playing me or whatever you know and all that stuff he was like i mean let them feel how they want to feel do you know the whole time that she was having this conversation 
she all up in the camera like this, looking at him in the phone like this. He like, I mean, let them feel how they feel. You're just going to have to prove to them what it is, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. I said, could you look at the camera? Mind you, I'm pretty sure he probably was. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he was trying to see if the guard was coming through or coming past or whatever so he won't get caught with the phone. But I, at this point, just make the phones legal up in prison. You can't tell me that none of them people that be up in um, the guards and the, uh, the warden and all them stuff that be the head of these prisons and that be working these prisons do not know and do not be coming across these inmates on their phones or their videos on TikTok or YouTube or whatever or on Twitter, okay? Some of them got only fans. Think about that, okay? There is somebody that has an only... <laughs> And the only reason why I know that because it popped up on my timeline. I said, in prison? I mean, you got to make your money how you got to make your money because they ain't really paying them nothing up in prison. But, wow. I said, also, that's what we doing. You know, you got to get down how you get down. Maybe because they also used to do that before they got into prison. So, hey, they said, well, ask for me. Anyway, moving on. I said, sir, could you look at her? And then she was like, you talking to other women? And he said, am I what? I said, every time they ask the question. <sighs> we were going so well. We was going so well. We was going so good. We towards the end of the video. And there it is. Like, there it is. <laughs> but anyway, they get to the point where they ask the questions. Are you talking to anybody else? Do you have any other women before they say, huh? What you say? I said, now, all of a sudden, you've been hearing me crystal clear this whole time. And now, all of a sudden, when I ask this question, you want to say, what you say? I said, you talking to anybody else? And he was like, I mean, no, I'm just talking to you. You the only one I'm talking to. I said, stop lying. Something about the way that he said that made me know that he was lying. And from the preview for the whole season that we saw earlier already, we already know he lying, Okay. Um, she gonna come down there to Georgia for nothing. I'm pretty sure. But I said, girl, keep yourself there. Why are you uprooting your kids like this? Okay. I said, get up off the phone. Warty, Warty, come get him. He got a phone in this funky. Anyway, moving on from that. That is them. We get to K-Rock and Brittany. <clears throat> Brittany is out with, um, uh, Evie and her friend. Um, that's K-Rock boy and her friend Shayla, I think. Either way, we get to the whole thing. They have, like, a little game thing trying to, um, you know, blend friends and get to know each other's partners and all that stuff. You get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? My best friend, his best friend, and all that. And get a feel because, you know, uh, Brittany knew about uh, K-Rock's best friend. The thing that got me the whole time, because I wasn't looking. I was doing something else, putting some stuff up, but I was listening. And then I had turned and I had looked at the TV, right? And I said... Is that a picture friend of K-Rock on the table while they're out to eat? Don't do no mess like that. I, I love you or whatever, but I'm going to keep a phone. I, I, I'll have you as my own wallpaper on my phone. I'm not going to have a whole ass picture frame with you sitting in the middle of the phone. Uh, mm. I said this puppy love, young love stuff, because they got, they young. She 22, okay? That's just all that it is. I said, y'all don't need to be talking about no marriage, all right? She needs to be talking about getting your life together and, and, and getting in good spaces and stuff like that. Evie just sitting there trying to figure out what's going to happen with them. She trying to feel her out, and basically, Evie ain't here for Britney. She, uh, Britney... Brittany ain't ain't making the right impression to Evie, okay? Evie, he was like, girl, no, nah, something about her. I don't, mm, I don't know. You know, I can't put my finger on it. I just don't trust it or whatever. You know, I just need to see how she going to be acting when they get out. You know, and Evie asking her questions like, so how you going to be when y'all get into an argument? She was like, of course we're going to get into arguments, but that's my man. That's going to be my husband. And, you know, we're going to be there. And it is what it is. And blah, 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 blah. Evie just looking like, yeah. But, I mean, what do y'all get into tips and stuff, whatever? How you going to act, you know? Uh, you cheating on him, he cheating on you, like, what's good with that? And I was like, wait a minute, what? And it was like, why you cheated? And she was like, okay, 
So we was together in prison, in jail or whatever, and you know, we got separated, right? And you know, K-Rock, he had to go to another um, division, another cell block or whatever, and we were separated. And when we came back, he told me that he had cheated. It was a one-time thing because you know, he was in segregation for a while. And it was one of those situations where I guess it was like, you know, he went so long without sex and he saw somebody and bang, 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 ski, ski, ski. And she was like, you know what? I wasn't mad at him, but I did feel a little hurt. And I understood, but I felt a little hurt. And I never cheated on him when he thought that I cheated on him. I said, wait a minute, what? You never cheated on him when he thought that you cheated on him, but you cheated on him? Yes, girl, let me get to it. I said, get to it. She said, so it was a rumor that was going around a prison or whatever that was saying that I had cheated. And honestly, I did not. And she, uh, uh, uh. I was trying to, um, you know, I was up here trying to defend myself and K-Rock was not trying to believe me. And he actually broke up with me like the day before I got out of prison. I said the day before. And I was just up there trying to be like, oh, K-Rock, baby, I love you. I love you. I love you. I want you back. Please take me back. I didn't cheat on you. I love you so much. And so in that process, yeah, I went out somewhere kicking it with some people saw this guy a person or i don't know who it was if it was, if it was guy or woman um and i wound up you know having sex with him and i did tell k rock but k rock feel like i cheated on him at that time when actually i didn't because technically speaking we were together you broke up with me and i said you know what that's the loophole that is the obvious loophole don't break up with me and tell me that we done and then get mad if i go have a little bit of fun because you you decide the next day that you want to get back with me. <laughs> but I will be. I will feel some type of way. I ain't even going to lie. We break up. We get into it. And we break up. And then the next day, you or the, within that week or the next couple of days or so, you out here banging somebody else. And I, I, what? Wow. You couldn't even wait a week? You couldn't even wait a week? God damn. You move fast. And I ain't getting back with you if I find that out. I ain't, I'm, 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 I'm like, I ain't, you know, because lesbians, let me just tell you this about lesbians. We would break up a thousand times and still get back together. We would break up a thousand times. It just happens, okay? Whereas maybe heterosexuals, y'all break up a couple of times. I don't know how y'all do it, but I just know how many times y'all break up. We break up a thousand times more, okay? And we get right back together. Oh my God, I was in a situation where that was going on and I was just like, you know, I ain't got time for this. I, I just, until you get tired of it and you decide to just completely remove yourself, you will eventually just go ahead and completely remove yourself. But we get, we, we break up and get back together, break up, get back together, break up, get back together. And when I say we break up, we break up for a day, get back together. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mess. It is a mess. I'm telling you, but, um, you got that right. And then she was like, well, technically, I ain't really cheating on him, but, you know, we weren't really together, but, you know, k Rock feel like I cheated on him, but I'm not going to cheat on him. He not going to cheat on me, but at the end of the day, I still don't have trust. I don't trust him. Now, she kept on saying she don't trust him. She don't trust him. How are you with somebody that you don't trust? I just don't understand how that works, Okay. You don't trust them. And even Evie was, that's why Evie was like, I just don't see it. And then, you know, talking about how Brittany out here working, I think she also works at a bar or something like that. She gets tips and she was putting it in the, um, you know, deposited it in the bank so she could put $125 on K-Rock's books each week. You know, I think K-Rock got some businesses or whatever. She was like, I just want to make it seem like, you know, I'm not necessarily living off of him, but I'm also doing my stuff too. And, um, you know, she's living with his family because her family just don't understand and just not really here for because, you know, she's a Latin or which one is it? Is it Latina or Hispanic um, household? And, of course, they're not really here for the, you know, um, <clears throat> the trans homosexuality type of aspect of it all. You know what I'm saying? And so... She stayed with his family where she could actually be free and people could understand her. And I don't know. I just felt some type of way. And I don't know why our minds go there, but my mind went there. The fact that, you know, she was up in that room with her um, K-Rock's brothers. And I was just like, mm. 
I just don't want them to get any ideas. I don't want her to get any ideas because you know people can be grimy. People can be grimy as ever. I do appreciate the fact that the brothers have respect for K-Rock by calling K-Rock the preferred pronoun that K-Rock goes by. Calling him him. You know what I'm saying? And I, I love that part. Because sometimes, especially in black households, we can be ignorant. We can be really, really ignorant, okay? But it just seems as if they really, truly accept him for who he is. And I love that part about it. And I mean, to the point where she got on the phone, Brittany got on the phone. I said, y'all finna talk? Y'all finna talk right in front of them like that? Uh. <clears throat> they having little conversations and everything. Hey, baby, how you doing? I love you. I miss you so much. Girl, I would have been sitting there like... Can I talk to my brother right quick so I can get out and y'all can do y'all thing? Hey, bro, how you doing? You good? All right, I'm doing good out here, so, you know, y'all get back to it. I don't want to be in the midst of this. Eventually, she got up to go get some pizza or whatever, and, you know, they started snitching. It was like, so, because uh, K-Rock was like, so what's been going on for real, for real? I mean, Britney, she cool or whatever. Like, yeah, you know, she in that thing and all that stuff. I like her, but, you know, she be coming home late. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, what you mean? Like, what time on um, the work in like the work is it closed i looked it up it be closed at like 12 o'clock in the morning and she be coming in probably like three i said <laughs> y'all snitching i said i mean that is your brother so you're gonna have to um give him a low down and it was like all right i'm gonna have to check her on that because I don't, I don't understand what's going on with that and when she came back and had him to herself. He was like, so what's this? You coming home late. I'm going to need you to adjust your schedule so that you won't have to be coming home late. And honestly, to be real with you, I don't even like your job. I don't even like the fact that you out here doing the job that you're doing. And she was like, I mean, I'm out here trying to do what I got to do to make a living. And, you know, make it look like I'm not living off of you or whatever. You know, everything is cool. It's just what I need to do right now. You know, and he said, I mean, if it gets to a point. Where your grades start slacking, you're going to have to quit that job. That's just what it is. I said, oh, wow, father. <laughs> I said, you her, uh, you her soon-to-be husband uh, or you her father. Which what? I was sitting here like, don't talk to me like you my daddy. That's what the, uh, I'm not going to talk to you like you my daddy. Like I'm your daddy or your mama. Baby, don't talk to me like you my one of my parents. Okay? Uh-uh. Don't do that. I mean, I understand, because, like, yeah, but at the same time, it was just the way he said that. I said, baby, you behind bars. What you going to do? And uh, if she got to make a living, she got to make a living. Don't tell me why I can't work, okay? Moving on from that, <clears throat> stuff is not going to go right for K-Rock and Brittany. I want it to. I just feel like it's not going to be the happy ending that we want. It's just going a little bit too perfect. Not even, it ain't even going perfect. They don't have that many bumps in the road just yet. I just feel like something is coming down the pipe, Okay. Andy, 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 Andy. Baby, where's Buzz Lightyear when you need him? Andy and Brittany is going to give us a time. And um, Andy brought it all on himself. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. Uh, sinuses again. Andy went over there to see his two daughters, okay? I think one, I don't know how old the youngest one is, but the older one, Allison, she's 25 years old. I don't know if they live together, but they was at the same house, okay? We already got the backstory last week about how the mama used to do some drugs and, you know, that's why they got divorced and, you know, she was an addict and all that stuff and bringing people in the house and doing all this mess, right? So they wind up having this conversation and he winds up telling the girls about the fact, um, talking some more about Britney. And they're in their feelings, rightfully so, because they're trying to understand, so you really move into this other, I guess it's Rome, Georgia, because I think they live in Tempton, Tipton, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, either, it, honestly, it don't really matter, he moving to go be over there with Brittany, okay, when she gets out, and they're trying to understand why would he do something like this, especially for somebody that he don't know on the outside world, and this is the whole thing, you don't know this person on the outside world, I'm not finna pick up my things and just draw a, 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 a move for a person that I don't fully know, unless everybody kept on saying that knows these people, there is prison talk and then there is talk outside of the prison 
prison ain't got nothing else to do but to tell you any and everything to pass the time, okay? And to make you feel a certain way, probably do make them feel a certain way. But then once they get out and they get the uh, that fresh air and they get a little bit of chance to go here and to go here and that, all that, baby, it's not going to be the way that you think it's going to be all the time, you know? And so I feel like he's living in the land of delusion. And he was like, you can have a uh, conversation with her. You can have a conversation with her. The little one, Destiny, she was like, girl, I don't want to talk to her. I was like, well, you can at least say hi. He made her say hi. And um, Allison was like, so what's up? You really going to have my daddy moving out there? And she, he was, I mean, he want to come out here. He can come out there. He, oh, my God, you guys are so beautiful. Don't tell me no. <laughs> I don't like that fake stuff. And, um, <laughs> when they was on there, I said, baby, this is not the time. And this is not the time. Because them girls, I just felt like they was about to. I don't know. The stuff that we got that they actually show us. I want to know what was said that we was not sent, that they didn't show us, that was edited out. I want to know how hard they went, okay? Because Allison said, so, um, what's really good? You really finna have them move out there? You got kids? Like, what you, we want to know your charges. And she was like, I mean, I'm in here because of, you know, drugs or whatever. And she was like, oh, okay. She was like, you got kids? And we was like, yeah, we got, I got kids or whatever. I got a 18-year-old, a 15-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 10-year-old. I said, Wow. Wow. <laughs> and he got three kids. Okay, because he got a son. And we're gonna see him later in the season. Um, and I I think he's 17. I said, oh my goodness, like what is going on? It is uh I I don't have res mm. I mean granted we don't know exactly what caused him to do that, but I do lack a little bit of respect for fam for 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 people who start doing I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that because, again, you don't know their situation what caught, got them on there. But I do look at them different. Like, you out here doing all this mess and you got kids in the house suffering because of what you're doing. And you can't even. Anyway, moving on from that. I'm not going to get too deep. Not going to get too deep. Not tonight. But um, they get on the phone and all that stuff. Destiny was like, you know what? Hold on. I do got something to say. So you, um. You really, you really dealing with this drug stuff or whatever. Cause like at the end of the day, like me and my uh, sister, we already went through this stuff with our mother. Like she been in this mess. I said, Destiny, get her. Ask the questions your daddy wasn't asking or whatever. Be, be the person, you know. And at this point, when they get off the phone with her, cause the phone clicked off. Um, Destiny and them was like, so you mean to tell me she got four kids and you finna go down there to be with her kids and play daddy to her kids when you barely was a father and barely in our life? And he said, excuse me? I said, spill it, girl. Spill it. Spill it because the, the, the story that he gave us in the first episode or the impression that he gave us was that, you know, he... And he did what he had to do to be with his family. Like, he was always there. They basically saying it like, you know, you kind of a deadbeat. That's what he interpreted as. And they, she said, I mean, take it how you will. But you wasn't raising us. You wasn't around to raise us the way that we needed to be raised. Because you was always gone. I said, ooh, ooh. Then, you know, he get up in his feelings about that. And uh, Brittany winds up calling him. And um, at this point, she was like, I mean, we, he said, you know, I'm just here with my daughters. We were just talking about the previous phone call and the fact that he, that, that they call me, a, um, like, practically a deadbeat dad or whatever because I'm coming out there. Oh, so he coming out there to take care of your kids. No, I'm just saying because we came from a situation where our mother was on drugs and all this stuff. And, you know, um, he was barely there. And she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? He never told me anything like this. And she got upset. She got upset when Andy and I said... What's going on? I got real confused for a second. I said, why are we mad? Basically, she got upset because I guess he didn't tell her about the fact that he really wasn't that involved with the girl. I don't know. I don't know. I said, wow. It, I, I don't know. It just felt like Brittany was feeling some type of way after that phone call, the initial phone call. That's what it felt like. But also probably like she did ask him if there's anything else that you want to tell me and he didn't. Or he kind of sugarcoated it. I don't know. But let me tell you something, Andy. I do not like you. I do not like Andy for the simple fact that you worked in law enforcement. You know how these prisoners are. You know the risk that you are taking and you are still taking it. And not only that, the main reason now that I do not like him is because 
you are literally involving yourself with someone who had the same issue that you had to get away from your ex-wife from and you had to get your kids away from your ex-wife from your kids and then you're bringing that not only into their lives but your life but their lives as well and you're literally uprooting your life for this person when you divorce their mother for doing the same thing that is weird okay and that is not right that is traumatic you are literally them girls probably suffer from ptsd probably suffering from traumatic post traumatic trauma and you're unearthing and you're triggering them by having someone that probably reminds them of their mother and what they went through what she went through because you don't know like they said if she's completely clean or if she is clean if she's gonna relapse once she get out you are so inconsiderate you are so oh that's wild that's wild and that's just like you're not thinking and at this point i really feel like andy is more so thinking of, with his penis you can say you love that girl you don't know her you only been talking to her for a few months not even a whole year okay i just I, it's a dangerous situation and it's messed up what you put your kids through i don't care how old they are that's still a triggering situation uh, and you could tell by the way they was talking and asking those questions. But that's love after lockup, love doing lockup. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about the episode. And I will see y'all later. I got to go to Walgreens. I need to go get some stuff. I'll see y'all later. Peace.